this is Paco. Um, I wanted to show you my tree pod, so here it is. That's a car. Okay, back to the tree pod. Okay, what we have here is the tree pod. What it consists of is a 45 degree elbow, then a T, another T, another T, and a 45 degree angle. Very complicated. Now, running through here, we have a strap. Strap goes around the tree, and in the back we've got, <gasps> right here, a buckle! Up here, we have another buckle. Following back around, it connects back into the tree pod. Now, coming out from that, we have two 45 degree angle elbows. Now, between all these pieces, you have a piece right here, a piece of um, just regular PVC pipe, three quarter inch, and this is, uh, I believe, one and three eighths inches. Makes it just the right size that when you connect it together, it holds it all itself in place. Now, we have this elbow here because what happens? If I can pull this off. Excuse me for a moment. You have yourself. Look at that. It's my camera mount slides in the uh, camera sticks sit, sits on top right there and then nice thing about this is if you need to tilt upwards or downwards it works if you need to tilt left or right it works as well which means you can get it to any angle you need it to so that's the basic tree mount oh no the tree is crooked. Whatever shall I do? Fortunately, with the camera mount, not a problem. You just simply attach it like so. Keep the right angle. it up. Now, you tilt this to the angle you want it. Let's turn it the other way. And stick the camera on and voila, the picture is straight. Sorry. No. See, the picture is straight up and down, even though the tree is extremely crooked, as I will show you. You can still get a straight picture. It's a great little device. And as a special bonus, it also doubles as a ground tripod. <sighs> Voila. So that's my uh, tree pod. Um, if you think of any other ways to use the camera mount or the tree pod, just uh, leave me a message and let me know, because I would like to know. Okay. Bye!